All right, y'all. So we back. You know they had the hurricane warning and everything. So went to Walmart. Well, currently at Walmart. About to get an oil change. Then when I leave here, get trying to get my weight up. Um, that's pretty much it for now. So killing time in Walmart, trying to see if I can find any groceries or anything that we need at the house. And we going Planet Fitness, get a little workout in. I did a mini workout last night, but I wasn't able to get everything done because I don't have dumbbells at the house. Well, I have dumbbells. I don't have a barbell at the house. Also, um, a couple other things was lacking. So I didn't really get a good workout. But I'll work on that, get it taken care of, and get right. Um, so it was funny, I was um, walking through and the lady had stopped me, one of the uh, Walmart workers. And so I'm thinking, like, oh, she's about to tell me I can't be recording. She's like, oh man, that is a really nice camera. That camera is awesome. So, <clears throat> shout out to the 5D. It's pretty much a conversation starter. Anytime I go anywhere with the 5D, it's like usually Somebody will say something and they'll ask me a question. <clears throat> I'm looking to see if I need to invest in another flash drive. If you didn't know, I don't know if everybody follows the nerdy stuff, but they just released the um, what they're working on. I don't know if they dropped it or not. Uh, um, one terabyte flash drive. Right? One terabyte flash drive, that's not flash drive, memory card. You get a one memory, one terabyte memory card. I don't know why I can't talk. That's really all you need, like a terabyte. That's computer space, like a terabyte. You can get a whole lot of footage and be done. I also want to look in the, um, invest in the drone at some point. Get that aerial photography game on point. But, yeah, drones are on point. I probably pass on the memory card today and look to get in. Uh, um, I need another 64. I might break down and buy 512, but those cost a little bit of bread. Well, not even a little bit. Those cost a lot of bread. So, possibly looking at that 512 as an investment. Oh yeah, last night, the real estate convention for the REIT meeting was pretty cool. The Shark Tank. I really wish that I um, didn't have the deal that I have on the contract, because that would have been love to just go ahead on and get that joint. So, because they was buying contracts on the spot. So, shout out to my mentor, Hadrian Sumter, HS1 Investments, if you don't know him look him up he's the real deal based right here in columbia south carolina and he doesn't play this is my baby you know a lot of people like to flex and act like they live in that life when they're not i mean real estate is doing pretty good right now i have a deal on the table if it goes through everything will be lovely but i really enjoy showing people the struggle because i know that I'm gonna be okay, like I'm a fighter and I'm just gonna keep pushing through regardless of whatever. But it's like, I want people to see the rough parts and just be completely transparent when things go wrong and hit the fan. That way, when I get on or whenever things do pick up, it'll be a lot more believable and people will understand my story, you know? Cause it's like, they can say, yeah, we saw you when you was driving that beat up Kia Sorento. Or we saw you when you was like dealing with craziness. So this, I have a full tank of gas. Don't be full. <laughs> it's definitely full. But um, this is just always on regardless of anything. Um, front oil change, I don't have to go back into <clears throat> Doggone, Jeremy, 
NBA, which isn't too long for now. Uh, my auto focus not working. I'll probably edit that. But anyways, I keep up with my gas by um, this button right here. Whenever I press it, it lets me know what my mileage is. So basically, man, people like two things. <laughs> I want people to see like you can be down and be okay. Cause you know when a lot of people they get down, like it affects their confidence. Like that that was me. Like when things go bad or when things hit the fan, like I used to get severely, severely, severely depressed. Like I'd just be down for days and weeks. And then one day I had a um anxiety attack and I was just like, What am I like what am I worrying about? You know, like, things get bad, things are good, but, like, nothing is forever. You know, you have bad times, you have good times, so. And then usually after the bad times, there's something that picks you up to the good times, and then that's usually better than where you were when you started. So it's like, I can't say I'm perfect when things hit the fan, because sometimes I still get upset, I still get angry. Of course, I'm a human being, but, like... I'm just, after that, the initial anger or the initial sadness or whatever, it's just peace. Peace in the fact that I can't really change it if I can't change it or just learning to accept things. So, <clears throat> and also by accepting things, that doesn't mean that you get comfortable or complacent. It just means that it is what it is and you deal with it the best you can. But on that note, about to go hit this gym, get this membership, Planet Fitness. If you want to get right, come holler at me. We hit Planet Fitness together, work out, gym partner, etc. Checking out, we're back. Checking out my mentor's property. Hey, <laughs> this giant. Over. 1331. It's already in the contract, so don't worry about trying to get it. Old school TV. You gonna put that TV on Craigslist, ain't you? Does it work? It's <laughs> mentor right here. That's why it's good to find a good program where you have access to your mentor. I can call mine. I can go visit him. <laughs> oh, these are the plans for the kitchen. I don't know if you saw them. Oh, nah, I didn't. The kitchen plans. Those are the ones you got from Home Depot. Right. Okay. So you know we got the refrigerator, stove, microwave, y'all already it's pretty gone. much marked it off. And the electrician comes in, you want your electrician come in, of course, first, because once you get your plan for your kitchen, they gotta put it, put all the outlets where you're gonna have electrical things in. Okay. That's Hello? Cool. Up here, Hello? it's micro for microwave, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here. Okay. I gotta my floor. Refrigerator. Yeah. Really, really dope. Oh. Um, back here. I, I went to review the job with the trash man. And he Guess didn't pass to the back door. That's gonna be. Yeah, what he did. The funny thing is, he we talk about it. He had the trash guy come clean up and he told him to make a path to the back. And so what he did was literally made a path <laughs> and left all the trash. So, right. they gotta get that straight and sort it out. <laughs> the joys of real estate. And then, as you can see, a lot of work. It's gonna need to get done. Okay. <laughs> What's gonna happen is this is gonna be a bathroom with a shower. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm gonna just knock this yeah. closet out, turn that into a shower, and that'll make this a two bathroom, two full baths and two bedrooms. Wow, and it came furnished and everything? Uh she gotta come back and get her furniture. Oh, okay. Uh, what well, stuff she bought. But <laughs> on the nineteenth, whatever she got, um, it comes with her. Wow. And then in here, of course, you always take these closets out and put the refrigerator here. Right. The stove here. The um, sink and dishwasher over here. 
And these cameras are really good though, so I don't know what I want to do with them, paint them or what. But these cameras are really good. Take that wallpaper down, paint this room. She got the laundry room right here. It's a real good character. This, one, this is like the best one out here. But where is that line? I like to switch that. Wow. Yeah. I already heated with the little gray box, so you know they're pretty new. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. This and she already got hard floors right here. Which is always good. I don't know what I'm going to do with this linoleum. Probably get the steam clean. <laughs> And take that ceiling fan out and put it in the other one. Cause I don't like the ceiling fan in the kitchen. Yeah, that is weird. It's weird. You know, the carpet. But if we got our handles over here, you know the other one don't have no handles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and up here, oh, she got her bed out already. So, the master suite, we got the hardware over here. She got a good line. That's great. Mm. I'll just take that vanity out and change up the mirror and the yard. And the lights over the bed. But everything else is pretty much good to go. I'll probably change the toilet seat and make it look new. Good to see you, man. Yeah, how's it going? How you doing? Kurt, saw you last yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, good to see recording. you. We'll probably be taking pictures and stuff so we can put all those out on Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Tell everybody, hey, Take a working on it. Hey, 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 hey. Put it on our Facebook page. Definitely, right. definitely. Oh, it's not so good for There you go. That's our focus. Yeah. Very good. Right. Very good. Hey, Mom. Um, <laughs> so, you know how I'm going to put my shark paint in the edge. All the information. This is what I can send it to my email. So I can send it to
So, I needed to charge my phone. Because at the time, I was on 1%. Now I'm on 2%. Right. So, I'm like, I'm going to go to my truck and get my um, my charge. I get my my charge. That shit is dead, too. So, I'm in the mall looking like a 12 year old charging up my phone and my phone charger at the same time. Chilling. Enjoying the scene. Just kicking. Guess I'll better. Following, like I said, I've been um, shadowing my mentor, HS1 Investments, aka Twine, and he's been showing me the ins and outs. When we leave the mall, because Red Robin's still in the mall, I still gotta go back in and pick up the food. But um, when we leave there, we're going to Home Depot, and at Home Depot, we're gonna get the floors so that. Contractor can begin the renovations for the property. So it's definitely been a full day so far, and it's only three o'clock. It's funny because by now I'd be just getting out of school, whereas today I've got a full day. When you have a son that likes to eat things, you don't have to worry about that. Like, he picked the F-U-C-K out of my shoes, but it's all good. Only he could do that. Just ran into my friend Brie Wells, at Brie Wells. Make sure you follow her. And Jonah. Jonah's a model. I like him. But, you know, I had random people asking, like, why is he recording himself? Just footage. All of this won't make it, obviously, but... The good stuff I'll probably go there and make it good. About to go to Home Depot, work on this renovation. The inner life. Heading inside the car. Let's see what's going on. So, when you keep a junkie truck, I have to worry about these kind of problems. We have to fill it up. <laughs> yeah, have to stack that on the roof. Then we have this over here. Our back seat is literally full of product. We have to slip it on the roof, wrap it. Got my boy right here. Flex on. Thank you.